Okay, okay. Now, some of these books are uh, neglected and out of print and hard to find. And I, I can remember some good books I read years ago, but I've forgotten the name of the book and the writer. Notice, notice that the course is listed here as creative writing. Actually, it's creative reading. Actually, the whole concept of originality is now, as it were, officially dead. You don't need new ideas or new characters. Now, an artist sees something and puts it on canvas or paper or film, and at first the public does not see it. There is rejection, ridicule, and anger, and after a few years, everybody sees it. It's almost like, what do you want from life, you know? <laughs> Don't be too Buddhist about it either. Read, uh, read Korzybski. <laughs> it's, a, it's too general a question. Well, anyway, in the process, Brian Geisner eliminates the omniscient author who knows the past, present, and future, and the innermost thoughts and feelings of his characters. Well, just take a walk, paying close attention to what you see and hear, and particular attention to what you are thinking when you read that sign, passed that person, saw that car. It took Joyce's Ulysses to make people aware of their own stream of consciousness. Recorder. To uh, get back to this matter of the cut-up, technique that you were using. Recorder. You know, I feel automated a whole lot, you know. Like, I'll do something and don't even know why I do it, you know. It's like the bell rings and I do something. Photography. Click. Nothing is true, everything is permitted. Uh, now let us ask, what invention could blast the writer out of sequential narrative? There's a lot of cups in there. Now, I found it and had a Xerox made of it. Any, uh, any more questions? If not, we'll... That's it.